It's more important than ever to have fast, reliable internet. Upgrade your internet and switch to iFiber Communications. Plus, iFiber just got even faster, offering 250 megabytes per second speeds for only $59.95. The Wenatchee Valley Skyhawks wrapped up their inaugural regular season schedule last Friday night with their second straight game against the Tri-Cities Fire, who hit the turf decked out in their mustard and ketchup colored jerseys to mark the occasion. In the early going and throughout the evening, however, it was the Skyhawks who did all the hot dogging, including on the game's opening drive when Wenatchee topped a five-play, 25-yard drive with a four-yard touchdown run by quarterback Jarvis Alston and tacked on a two-point conversion to take an 8-0 lead just three minutes and 29 seconds into quarter number one. Wenatchee's offense relished the opportunity to strike for points on their next drive as well, using only a single play for Alston to connect with Devontae Salomon on a 30-yard touchdown pass, which doubled the Skyhawks' advantage to 16 to nothing, with 6.45 remaining in the first quarter. Wenatchee's red-hot O continued to sizzle in the second quarter as well, first when wideout John Roberson got his buns moving on a 41-yard catch and carry across the goal line from Alston, then with a 15-yard touchdown sweep by Solomon, and finally, when Alston and Roberson hooked up from 21 yards for another six points, the Skyhawks registered touchdowns on five of their six first-half possessions and built a lead of 38-20 to by halftime. After the fans had finished dressing up their weenies at the condiment bar during intermission, Wenatchee went back to work at piling on more points of their own in the second half, spicing up the home scoreboard with a 22-yard TD pass from Alston to wide receiver Wesley Gray, a three-yard scoring plunge by Jordan Lorenzio, and Alston's third touchdown chuck of the game to Roberson, this time from 28 yards as the Skyhawks prevailed by the final count of 68-34. to In addition to the juicy offensive performance, Wenatchee's defense also proved to be plump under fire, picking off three passes, including one for a touchdown, along with stymieing Tri-Cities' attempts to keep pace for much of the contest. The victory gave the Skyhawks a record of 6-6 six and six to close out the regular season and should have them flying high prior to their next contest in Round 1 of the American West Football Conference playoffs. Yeah, no, we're excited. I think that right now we're peaking, we're gelling. It's, not, it's just an exciting time for our guys. Like I said, they're playing the best football that we can possibly play at this time. You know, we just got to make sure our guys stay focused and stay a unit. You know, that's the biggest thing, that we have no individuals. Everybody plays together and we'll have no problem. We just have to play team ball and we'll take care of business. Wenatchee will get their fifth crack at the Reno Express, whom they beat twice during the regular season on July 14th at Town Toyota Center in the first round of the playoffs. Reporting for iFiber One Sports, I'm Chris Hansen.